Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to share with you my weekly favorites. And the first thing that I wanted to point out was my shirt because I mentioned another Old Navy shirt a couple weeks ago in my weekly favorites and you guys loved it and a lot of you guys purchased it and loved it. So I wanted to shout this one out because it is so comfortable and so soft. I believe it's called the Super Soft Tunic. I'll have it obviously listed in link below. It is from Old Navy and it's so it's so soft it's almost like a really lightweight i was gonna say lightweight feather a lightweight sweater material but i don't really like sweater materials too much because i get too hot so it's it's like perfect the perfect weight it's not too hot it's not too thin it's a really nice weight and it's like i said so soft it is a v-neck but the v-neck isn't so low where it shows cleavage it's a very flattering cut and it's kind of three-quarter sleeve well, it's like halfway between long sleeve and three quarter sleeve. And it does have like extreme dolman sleeves. My husband said I look like a flying wombat. I don't know if you guys, guys can see, but yeah, I kind of look like a flying wombat, which is hilarious, but I don't mind being a wombat. That's fine. I don't even know what a wombat is to be honest. Is it a bat? I don't know. <laughs> the shirt is really long and it's a little bit of a high low. So it does cover my butt. I get the tall sizes, but it does cover my, my butt and I'm five nine if you guys aren't familiar. So I just love it. I do have this one in the color called Getting Figgy with it. So love that. <laughs> okay, so the next favorite that I have are these little things. And I'm honestly not even sure what they're called or what their main purpose is for. I use them for when I apply false lashes like as a tool and I'll tell you all about it. I feature these, I don't know, was it a couple years ago now um, when I first found out about them. And I have to shout out who I found out about these from is Lynette from Living, I think her channel is called Living by Lynette. I'll link her channel below. I love her channel. But they're basically like little plastic, little plastic like wands. And then on the tip, and I'll show you the close up, but on the tip, it's like this fuzzy little, I think it's a lint free. I don't really know how to explain it. But what I use it for is like, I've been doing false lashes a lot lately. And when I put on the glue, maybe there's too much glue or whatever. You know how when you go in with a Q-tip, you go in with a Q-tip to kind of dab away excess glue or to kind of press the band of the lashes against your eyelashes, it gets stuck on there, you know, and then it's just not a good situation. If you do false lashes, you know what I'm talking about, but this makes it so perfect because you can just go in and like get rid of extra glue and it just kind of soaks it up and wipes it away, but it doesn't stick to the lashes. It doesn't like leave any like cotton behind or anything like that. So it's such a great tool for anybody who's challenged with false lashes or anybody who's even not challenged. I think it's a great little tool. I order mine on Amazon and I'm trying to remember the original use for these. I think it's something to do with crafts or even like model cars or something like that. I don't know, but I just heard about them from Lynette and I use them for false eyelashes. So definitely something to check out, like I said, if you're challenged or I just think they're such a great little tool. Listen up people with dry skin. My next product is going to be ideal for you. And this is the Laura Mercier. It's called the Healthy Glow for Face and Cheeks palette. And this is so, it's so, it's a really compact little palette. It has a nice little mirror on it as well. But these are so easy to use and they're just so beautiful on the skin. If you have dry skin and you've been, ha or even if you just have like dehydrated skin and you've been having like a hard time with just looking powdery, like with powder, bronzers, blush, or highlights, you want to check something like this out. It's just stunning. So natural looking. It truly does. These products are so just natural. It comes with a really pretty bronzer. It's called the Bronzer Veil. And I love the formula of these. It's kind of grease like greasy not in a bad way though if you have dry skin greasy is probably a good word to you but it's really emollient but not it's just really easy to work with so i just applied that with a dual fiber brush and the cheek products i actually like to use the glow veil on top with the cheek veil on top those two mixed together and then the glow veil on the bottom is you know a nice highlight obviously for me it's not that bright of a highlight that i prefer but it's still it's so pretty it's like undetectable makeup because it blends into the skin and just becomes one it looks like skin next i have a mac eyeshadow that i've been using as an inner corner highlight a brow bone highlight a cheek highlight and it's just a classic staple color and it's the color called nylon it whoops <laughs> 
it's like a white gold and it's pretty it's pretty intense I don't know the finish I'm guessing it's a frost I could be wrong but yeah it's a really intense see that like light pale white gold color just so pretty I think it would look beautiful on all skin tones honestly it would so yeah I have it on the inner corner and see how that just like pops the eye like I didn't get a lot of sleep last night and I feel like that really opens up the eyes and just makes me look a little bit more like healthy <laughs> and then I have it on the brow bone as well just like a little bit and I don't have it on my cheeks today I have a different highlight on my cheeks but if you don't have this color if you don't have this color <laughs> why did I say that so weird I definitely recommend checking it out it's a really great highlight color multi-purpose I did kind of actually bring it over on my lid today a little bit like halfway over on the lid and just a really great highlight color from MAC nylon and then my next favorite is this elf I don't know the exact name of it because it doesn't say on the package and I threw the box away but it's basically like this gel formula and it's a like a long wear liquid lipstick or just long wear lipstick remover which is so cool and I think it's three dollars and I don't even know, I think Sephora has something like this, but obviously that's going to be way more expensive. This is no joke. It's a little bit messy because it's like a runny, kind of a runny, watery gel. But you just put it on your lips and let it sit there. It says for about 30 seconds and then wipe it off like a tissue. I used a paper towel. It legit takes that long wear lip product and breaks it down so fast and wipes away with no tugging. So it's a really awesome little product for... Anybody, obviously, who needs a long wear liquid lipstick remover, you know, you can get the job done with like a towelette or facial makeup remover wipe, but I feel like you have to keep tugging and going over and over with it, and you know, you don't want to tug on your on your lips or your face for, for that matter, and this just really breaks it down and takes it off. Like I said, it's a little bit messy, so you have to be a little careful if, if you're wearing makeup and you just want to switch out your, your, lip, your lipstick, your long wear liquid lipstick or whatever. But I love that. And my next couple of products are products that I'm not like head over heels in love with, but I still enjoy them. They're just kind of like, <laughs> which I like to talk about those kind of products because it's good to hear about favorites and fails, but also just like mediocre products. So with the first one I have, I'm really sad that this is like a, I'm not like absolutely in love with it, but it's the Tarte and Bloom palette. The Tartlet Number no. 2 palette. I'm wearing this today on my eyes with that MAC nylon color that I showed you guys. I just like it okay. I like the matte colors. The matte colors are beautiful. Blend really nice just like the first Tartlet palette. But the shimmery colors, which there's three of the shimmery colors, they're so like, like they're, they want to be smooth, but they're chunky and a lot of fallout like this one right here the firecracker is so pretty it's like a bronzy copper it has so much fallout i mean obviously you can wipe fallout away it's not the end of the world overall i'm obviously i am gonna keep this palette i do like it but just because i can't use or i, I use them but i just i don't love the quality of every single product in the palette that's why it's just like a like a lukewarm type product so I just want to shout that out still a nice little palette to have because it is more of a natural palette which I personally love and it's just all there you don't have to reach for like different you know single eyeshadows or whatever it's all right there you can get a ton of different looks out of it but like I said the quality across the board just wasn't all there and then the other product is a new brow product by Pure and it's called the Browder which is so cute Browder Perfecting Brow Powder Okay, and I have mine in the shade Brunette. Okay, so this stuff, let me first show you the packaging. Although the packaging and the product itself is a little bit of why I don't like it. It's like this little sponge tip. You see that? It's like a little cone. And it's a powder, which is so weird. And you basically just like paint it on your eyebrows. And it's so fast and so easy. It covers the real estate so fast and so easy which is the what I love about it but as you can see as I like apply it on there it kind of crumbles down and it's messy it literally got all over my vanity and all over my pants which you know is easy to wipe away but I like it because it's so fast and convenient but it's not convenient in the in the sense that it's messy yeah I have like little powder droplets from that just from swatching that on there so I'm gonna use it on days where I have patience but at the same time, I want to 
be fast with my brows because it just it seriously got the the brows done so easy i had a hard time getting it blended on the inner corner of the brow so i just kind of spoolied that away and then just went in with the lighter brow powder from anastasia like the soft brown on the inner corner but the color on the outer portion is really nice like i said i have brunette they did send me these and they sent three shades all together. I don't know if they have more than three shades. I think they have like a medium <laughs> a medium brown or medium brunette and then also a, I think it's a blonde or a taupe. So not the biggest color selection. Bottom line, messy, but kind of convenient. <laughs> all right guys, so that wraps up my weekly favorites and somewhat fails. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys know what to do. Leave your favorites down below. And let me know if you have any other products that I share with you and let me know your thoughts on those. I did want to let you guys know for any of you, those of you who are interested that Stella and Dot, you guys know I do Stella and Dot, is Dot Dollars right now. So for every $50 you spend now through December 15th, you get $25 back in Dot Dollars. So it's basically like shopping for half off if you want to play it like that. <laughs> and to make it even better, I'm actually running a mystery hostess trunk show. So for every $25 you spend with that, you'll be entered one time to win the entire hostess rewards, which has been really fun for the winners. And I just, you guys, if you're, if you've been a winner of that, you guys know how awesome it is to get tons and tons, like hundreds of dollars in free still and not. You can't go wrong with that. So basically if you spend $100 you'll be entered to win the mystery hostess four different times. You'll also get $50 back in dot dollars. You feel me on that? It's a great time to stock up on Christmas gifts, like check off those items on your wish list, on your personal wish list, and on your shopping list. Tons of giftable items. If you need help shopping or whatever, just leave me um, an email. I'll have my email listed below. Email me and I would love to help you shop, which is so fun. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to chirp with you guys about. I hope you guys are all having a really great day. And if you're not familiar, I always have the products that I talked about listed and linked below. I also have a pretty detailed um, little list of everything I'm wearing on my face, my jewelry and all that stuff, if you're interested. So that'll be in the description box down below. Have a great day. I already said that. I'll see you guys later. Bye.